So my first voting reform project was in grade 12. What happened? I wanted to run for high school president. Yeah. And I had a great campaign slogan, Mez for Prez. <laughs> and um, I was told that I wasn't allowed to run. And I had just been learning all my history courses about how, you know, we have a democracy and people died for democracy and, and anyone can put their name forward in an election and it's up to the people to decide who we want to represent us. So this is my first chance to see, you know, to try it out. Yeah. And I was told, yeah, you're, you don't qualify. I was like, why? He said, well, your grades are too low. And I thought, well, if you want to set standards for the administration, that's fine. But this is the student president. It should be totally up to the students. And if they want someone with low grades to be the president, why should the administration care? Yeah. And I had an even better argument, which was that people with straight A's study a lot. You don't have time for student council, yeah. right? Because they're always reading and writing. And if you look at my grades, you'll clearly see that I have a lot of free time on my hands. So I shouldn't be a great student council president. They didn't go for that. Um, so I started a petition. You know, that we the students think we should be able to decide who our president is not being filtered through the administration selection process. And I got about hundreds, four or five hundred, I don't know, like hundreds of signatures. Yeah. The only person who wouldn't sign was my girlfriend at the time. That's a whole other Still a grudge. Yeah. Um, but it didn't change. I wasn't able to change it. Because it's high school is in a democracy. So was that a did that spark something? Oh yeah. Well, well, that's what you uh, just to go back to what you were saying before about how it's hard to get people engaged. I mean, people were happy to sign the petition. Yeah. And people actually felt kind of strongly about it. So I mean, look at Montreal right now, right? I mean, when people feel strongly about an issue and are for whatever reason convinced that their action could change the outcome, they get involved. Yeah. And young people who we often portray as being the most apathetic are actually the most likely to get on the streets and get involved. Yeah. Right? Lots of big social movements started on campus. Right. Where all the apathetic people are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't, are like you can't use the word youth and apathy together anymore after what's happening in, in Quebec, right? I mean, it's a joke. Yeah. Is this still 